Turn your tongue. Rat it, what a tongue work. Watch it. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Okay guys, so this is the Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shalisa Life and I'm back with another video. Okay guys, I'm at the zoo. zoo. Oh Naples Zoo. So we are gonna check out some birds. Parrot, these are parrots. Oh god. These are the parrot guys. Clean. In front. So where we're gonna we saw the safari piano. I wish we all for go. So we are going this way guys. Alligator, cruise, lion. He said you are here, so we're the right so no. We are gonna go so now we are go on the cruise. It's not in this one. <laughs> you just go back and forth, back and forth. So, hey, you just want to come out. You see? I can just train for just wheel and come again. Oh, where the long face? Crazy. Why the long face? Crazy looking creature built to be bugs. A bug something mark. I think we watch it by one cartoon. Eh? Yeah. Another cartoon there.
cut the top. Ooh. Yeah. See in the right there, so. See in the nickel. Look, look like a um, cotton one. Cotton top. Tamarine. Peacock. Gazelle. No. I want to take a lot. Hurt this so. Yeah, this one big. Hmm. <laughs> Look big like a cow. Mm. Hello. It's so hot. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm saying, um, so I can get water into some water. Thing. Huh? Hello, how much for the water? Mm -hmm. Water? Mm-hmm. How much? It's four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. For, so that water is almost. Oh, well, that one's for um, employees only. So give me one employee one, my employee. Yeah, <laughs> Much for the Gatorade. Uh, for okay, guys, we're going on the boat. Cruise safe. Going to cruise in five minutes' time. You know, taste good. Get ready, guys. Uh, 
I don't know, a lot of people think these guys are just monkeys, and they're, they are not. They are lesser apes. So just because they weigh less in pounds, that they have all the abilities our beautiful apes do. Now there's 18 gibbons, and they all come from Southeast Asia. These Siamines you can find in Indonesia, Malaysia, and Sumatra. Now he does have a mate here on this island on the left side. And both these islands are both the Siamine Gibbons Islands. So if you're walking on the pathway, they're the ones that are closer to the, the boat there. As you can see, the other indication besides the fact he does not have tail is these long, amazing arms. Uh, only apes have these type of arms because apes are arboreal, which means they spend their lifetime in the tree doing that brain hand over fist movement that you'll see our boy right here doing. Now, they have special wrist sockets that allow them a 180, and our, our female's about to climb up. See her? So you can see her collar sack a little more uh, visible when she comes up a little higher. You'll see hers. That's how I tell these guys apart, really, is that collar sack and the way that they move in the trees. Our boy here is uh, a lot more active, let's call it, than our female who's coming up to join him. But you can see she's about half his size. So he weighs about 30 pounds and our female is about 15. So these two, when they want to bond, they'll do that little duet singing to each other high up in the trees. It'll last for about 20 minutes and you can hear it up to two miles away. So you were here, they did it earlier. Uh, you would have uh, heard these guys out with these two uh, singing their song. <laughs> and see those arms? Uh, they're hanging out right now, but they can do that brachiation hand over fist movement 30 miles an hour and with the flick of a wrist just completely switch their direction. So when they're swinging like this, like our swoopy does, they have the ability to grab like this and completely uh, switch that direction, not lose speed. And all, all apes have that ability. Aren't they adorable? Uh, we can stay here forever. This is why they call my tour three hour tour. Three, <laughs> a couple people. All right. But there's actually three of them in the tree. I see, or at least two of them. I see two tails hanging down. So, and I see another area that I think another monkey is. Uh, there he goes. Starting to move. See that tail that just came down? Now that that is a sure sign of a monkey. Those are our black and white colobus monkeys. Now, in the shelter to the media, right? I'm hoping we can catch a little guy. So I up this up. They're usually always in their shelter. Sometimes they come up to the, to the head of the shelter. See next on the pipe? Yeah. Yeah, like now these monkeys, however, we will talk a little bit about them. You kind of can see them. So in, in the shelter on your right, they kind of blend into the, the uh, same color as the shelter as they're brown. But we call them red collared lemurs. Now that's the third species that we have out here. This is a procivian. I'm talking about what's right next to the boat on the right side. So we'll get to these guys don't swing like our beautiful apes yeah. at all, and they are all three out here. Actually, I see them all three. Sure about, I do. So. so there's two right here. This CD tree. And then what you feel? Look at my ears. Look at my ears. My pee pee, my pee pee. <laughs> oh, you see it. Let me see it. No? Oh, yeah, we see it. Drop down like that. <laughs> Sorry, they just turn away and point at them. They'll give you the back of the head, the back of the, the back, basically, just like that. <laughs> That's why I was trying not to talk. I don't think they like the speakers either. So these three boys are enjoying their uh, lunch time in the trees. That nice breeze. Now these three, this is a father and two sons, so it is a little family. And colobus, let me start there, is derived from a Greek word meaning mutilated one. Because these guys don't even have thumbs, they just have four long fingers, and all the steps where thumbs would be. So when the people discovered these guys, they uh, thought their hands looked mutilated compared to the other primates. See him jump so easily? They can jump 20 to 25 feet in between uh, their leaps and jumps. They climb right up those tree trunks and then leap around. That's how they get around. They don't uh, have that room to grab and hold on like our apes do and do a grab. Oh, That's a free fall. Now they can do that up to 50 feet using that long, beautiful tail and hair as a parachute. So they are very swift, very capable 
and the way they move around. And that's that for me. <laughs> Another free fall. You guys are lucky you get to see them move around. Now, they are my favorite thing to watch out here uh, when they get going and they clean. They're, they're going to do a little grooming up there. Oh. Uh, but when they get going, it's usually when they do their territorial call. For these guys, it's called barking. Uh, so when I hear it, I know they're going to jump around in the trees. And it's, it is my favorite thing to watch. And they'll just ricochet off those branches like trampolines. I've also seen them ricochet off of that pole that's coming off of their shelter and also jump onto the, the uh, fire hose there. So, I'm not sure. I can't tell them apart which one does what. Um, it could be the dad doing the green groom in there. I'm not sure. I've been told that the biggest one is the father, and then they each have different shapes on their heads, but I still can't tell which one's heart, which one's black, which one's oval. But they are great. Now, we call them an old world monkey because they're from the eastern hemisphere of the world. Now, we're going to the western hemisphere of the world. Now, these guys have a completely different type of tail. Their little family's right here on the hill, uh, right past these trees. And if you were to see this, uh, if you were to see this tail a little closer, you'd notice that it's a tactile surface, kind of like the palm of your hand. So this tail is used as a function. This is prehensile tail. They use it to carry stuff with it. They can grab stuff with it. They can uh, they climb with it. That, that's how they got their name, the black-handed spider monkeys. Now you can find them in Central America, South America, even some parts of Mexico. Now they do have thumbs and they do grip and hold, but uh, they are not like those apes either. They don't uh, when they, they can break each, but not as fast. And they usually involve their what tail when fish they fish in So if they do swing, it's more like a hammock side to side swinging motion. And they go from foot to hand to tail to whatever they feel like doing. But of course, they're often seen looking like spiders holding on to the tail alone. They're usually a little more active, uh, so we'll probably see them on this. Uh, Side of these next two islands. So now we're going back into Procidians. Now, does anyone know where Procidians come from? Again, they're lemurs. Anyone? Anyone? Come on. No one seen Madagascar's movie? <laughs> Madagascar. So uh, there are some lemurs in that movie. Uh, ringtail, in fact. And we do have ringtails on the right side of us. Uh, they're a little harder to, to spot. I always say, look for the tail, find the lemur. I'll tell you where their favorite spot is. If you look, and I'm talking about the right side of the island, if you find the shelter, super easy, see that bamboo that comes up into the tree, follow it all the way up to the tree, and at the end of that bamboo is where their little favorite little nook is. Now there is a part of a ringtail hanging down at the end of that spot, so you can see it if you, uh, if you look hard enough. Now there are two of them on here. There is a queen PJ and her mate Nick there that live there, and they are part of our species. So we're hoping for little baby green tails over there. Now on the left side island, you're, these guys are easy to spot. They're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the bigger of all of our lemurs, as we do have, oh, our, our queen is sitting right here in the middle of the tree. Look low and you'll see our queen sitting right here. Now i got to talk about her since she's here. This is our queen sitting here. So Nick's up top, and then we have our little queen PJ sitting here. Now I want to... I want to say a couple of things. Uh, that movie Madagascar does have a ringtail in it, but his name is a King Julian, and uh, that's that's kind of a a big guy, really, because there's no such thing as kings. These guys are in fact led, but it's by the female beaver. So there's only queens that rule these guys. Now this queen here, PJ, if she was in the wild, she'd rule not only Nick up top there, her mate, but she'd rule 50 to 100 more lemurs, and that would be her troop. Now see that beautiful tail hanging down? That's the only tail you'll see like that. It's uh, queen, this queen's tail. And as we have fingerprints that are unique to us, they have their tail. She's going to show it to us. Thank you, Queen. She loves to own this island, as you can tell. And she uh, knows when I talk about her. As you can see, she loves showing my boats her beautiful tail. Now that's how they tell each other apart over in Madagascar. It's by those tails. Oh, should be. Huh. So they're all unique, just like we have the fingerprints. <laughs> Let's see, these boys are right under the table to the left side. I don't know if she's going to, that was her, her uh, thing or if she's following us or not, uh, but I can't tell. Now, if you look on the left side, these guys are taking a snooze under this table that's to the left of, of me. Uh, at least one of them is for sure. Now, sometimes they've been coming out for me. Uh, there are three triplet boys over here. These are red rough lemurs. 
Now they're not as common and they're the rarest you're gonna see because these guys are the top of that critically endangered list. Uh, they're the ones that live high up in those canopies of Madagascar's rainforest. So uh, that's why they're so rare and uh, critically endangered. There's about 10% of that forest yes, left. So out of a place that's about the size of Texas, uh, the little island outside of Africa is where Madagascar is. Here's one of them. Came on top. Oh, yeah, a little stretch, a little dog down dog. Now these yeah. guys absolutely do stretch all the time uh, and because they jump and leap all around all the time. Just like our colobus monkeys that are very close by in Africa, these guys do a similar uh, running and jumping like you can see. Oh, now this is going to be my favorite thing out here that's the most adorable thing you're going to see. If this little guy decides to go in, he is. He's going to so. These guys have a, a unique ability to do a couple different things that are other lemurs out here. One is uh, they can hold on with their feet alone. Oops, that's not what I expected. But if he goes after whatever's in that container there, he can hold on with his feet alone and use those little hands to scavenge out uh, whatever's in that little container. And uh, it's adorable when they do hang upside down uh, to do. And they play that way. They they. Uh, Play with each other. See, he's holding on and he's reaching forward. So these these are called enrichment pieces. And it's uh, set up for all of our animals here at the Nicole Zoo to stimulate them, to allow them a creative way to get their food, whether they have to uh, put their body a certain way to get into the container, or if they have to open up paper to get to the food, or they have to, uh, you know, figure out different ways. So you're going to see that all over the Nicole. Now see those little eyes and those snouts? They were actually mean ghost or spirit. Because uh, these guys were discovered with their eyes first, cleaning one moonlit. We just had a had a full moon. All these lemurs' eyes would glow in the trees if you uh, were out here during that time. And uh, that's how they were discovered. And it wasn't until the next day when these people came back and were. Oh, Oh yeah. Hi duckies. Duck we pick me. I'm an old woman. Pretty. Where are trouble yeah, Miss? People were approaching this giraffe. Giraffe Dali. Say it all like a giraffe. You don't like giraffe at all. Look, you just stop like in the you just stop in the you just stop in the you just in Oh, they're not eating them. So they're not eating the bomb, the force. If you don't feed them, you have to go over this one. Hey. Turn tongue. Rat it. What a tongue work. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I can't use him tongue food. People look like they have what you did tongue. Jesus Christ. I wear the perfect tongue, so. Oh, uh -huh. Look there. Oh. Yeah. 18 inches. Oh my and god. It's like a, a monkey's tail or a uh, elephant's trunk. 
it's what you call prehensile, so it's like a hand. They use it to grab stuff. That's what he's doing. He's, he's licking the, uh, <laughs> he's licking the bark off. The bark. He's killing it. That's okay. Um, yeah, that's how they, they grab stuff. So if you feed, if you give him lettuce, he, he actually grabs it. Yeah, give him toe. Yeah. Hmm? Lions, if you go straight ahead, fast, fast. Wake up! So for me to pay man on you. Mm. Let me see him. Come relax. Biggie, just relax. I'm not meeting season. She has sleep, so I'm saying, go and watch her. It's not sure good. I can't lay down back. I'm not fresh in tune. I'm trying to turn around. Hey, Bear. <laughs> Hi, Papa. You're tired? Water? I'm going to get your foot. Hey, buddy. When the hungry are tired. Eh? You don't want to sketch that. Yeah, watch him. Hey, buddy. Look on him, guys. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Hi. At least I only sit in the, the stable. 
Do you know what this is? Hi! Hello! Hi! Meow! Shhh! Shhh! Hi! I know I actually said I a while ago. Hello! Come this side, come, come. Come. Sima come the man. Hello. Sima fala here the man. Yeah. Hi. No. Where else do I go? So everything? Finally. Finally. Come on, take a picture besides something. Take, give me a picture right or something.